Yeah, he did, and, and especially down the stretch, once it was 5-4, you know, he... Wallace up top, he goes, Teasdale keeps the puck alive, barely, but he managed to get it down, go now to Wallace. Tyler Wallace out of the corner, walks in front, Wallace waits, what a save, rebound, another one! Fantastic, Fuller, I'm not sure quite how he made that stop, referee's hands in the air, turned the puck over, chance coming to the front of the net for the Dragons, and in the end, it was Ty Whitford who couldn't get the shot away. David Brandis with some speed, stepped into by Christian, got the puck to Wallace, and cross, they score! Jason Seedham fires at home, Blackfolds takes the lead, and on come the Bears. Hey, hey. Well, we, neither one of us picked Seedham, but that would have been a good pick too. Uh, uh, Bulldogs kill off the penalty, and then from that, a nice rush up the ice for Brandis is able to get the puck to Wallace, who finds Seedham on the back side. Face off one towards Jason Seedham. He was tied up, Loomer in to get the puck. To and from, good pass by Loomer, now to Meerman to the front of the net, they score! Tyler Wallace tips it home, it's a power play goal. Blackfolds leads 2-0, and what a feed from Brett Meerman. Well, that took seven seconds. Again, there was a battle for the puck on, on the sideboards. And, and get the puck, and for Jake Garacci, I'm, I'm not sure we're gonna see that. Long wrist shot stopped by Fuller, rebound poked just wide by Brennan Ross. Ross again to Heemstra, good save, rebound in front, couldn't get it on his backhand. Cleared away. By the Dragons, David Brandis has it. Christian, however, got the puck, gets it ahead to Noah Danielson, who's stepped into by Jake Garacci. Watch, he'll swing it across. Here's Carter Patterson. Patterson gave it away. Here's a chance in the middle. It's a Goudreau, moves in with a shot, he scores! Deneau. That was Ty Deneau who intercepted the pass. Carter Patterson, I don't know if he just didn't see him, Mike, yeah. but Deneau. Deep. Brett Meerman chases it down. Easton Adrian gave it to Meerman to the front of the net to Tyler Wallace. He waits. Wallace still. Somehow it was blocked. Easton Adrian behind the goaltender made the same. Heemstra. Casey Heemstra moves in one on two. He's got support coming. He'll drop it off to Jaden Jolly. Moves in with a shot. Stop rebound. Jolly. It's in the crease. And they poke it in. They score. Casey Heemstra. It's 3 1. Well, that started with a dump out of the zone by the Bulldogs. And it was Heemstra who picked it up. Coming down, I think he, he, he must have heard Jolly coming from behind because it looked like he was going to drive the net, and all of a sudden he turned and, and made a nice pass back to Jolly. Keep it alive. Now Teasdale across to Brandis. Brandis drops it off for Wallace. Seedham has Meerman ahead of him. Jason Seedham cross ice pass a beauty. Here's Tyler Teasdale moves in with a wrist shot. He scores! What a pass from Jason Seedham, and Tyler Teasdale finishes up over the glove. It's 4-1 for the Bulldogs here in the second period. Uh, Teasdale, the right-hand defenseman. Goes on, looking for his options, and Adrian didn't know too much about that pass. Tanner Willick's got it. Willick breaking back in. Tanner Willick moves in, makes a move to his backhand. Still on its Willick, tried to bank it in. Oh. Is it in? It's loose. Oh, it's on the back of the net. The red light came on, yeah, but Willick didn't get it in front. It was sitting on the back of the goal. I, I think it hit the it hit Fuller and then just bounced back onto the back of the... Swipe at Danielson. Yeah. They've been jarring off the draw, but if that stick makes contact, that's a penalty. Gergon yeah. and Danielson now yeah. tied up, and they're both going to go. Well, Danielson got Gergon's helmet off. Backhand pass cross ice by Danielson, just out of the reach initially there of Dawkins. Ross sidestep Dawkins, and then sidesteps Caleb Wilms. Brennan Ross drops it off to Carter Patterson, cross ice. Connor Dick, wrist shot, scores! Beautiful shot from Connor Dick, he rips it home. Four on four, goal for Black Folds. Connor Dick's got his ninth, it's 5-1. And again, what a good passing play. You know, Patterson and Ross, a uh, little give and go, and then they find Connor Dick, and Dick goes in. It doesn't look like he's got a, a lane to shoot it. It looks like the defending player is in, in front of him, but he pulls the puck. Sent through the middle by Cody Willick. David Brandis has some space. Brandis has two with him. One of them's Loomer. He takes the pass. Loomer to the front, and Willick tries to tip it in. Brandis following up the play that hit one of the players that was in front. Now a shot right on his stump. Rebound poked just wide. Bill Gergon off the bench into the play. Here Samard moves it ahead for Juhas. Yuha stepped into by Connor Dick. He'll slide it down. Kirk Gherkin in a battle down low. And Gherkin's, Gherkin is going to get worked over here. It's going to turn into a fight between Kirk Gherkin and Ben oh. Christian. And Christian is working over Gherkin. It looked like Kirk Gherkin wasn't really a willing participant in no. that until the end. But it happens. It happens. Raisler blocked by Hennessy. Bill Gergon with a big hit. Gergon is dumped into the boards by Glinski after the fact. Patterson didn't like that, and the whole melee is going to start out of that. Bill well, Gergon with a clean reverse hit. And yeah, it was. Dragons took some exception. In the Black Falls Bulldogs beat the Drumheller Dragons 5-1. Drumheller 
who lost in Can or lost in Drumheller against Canmore last night. The winning streak for the Dragons comes to an end yesterday, and Blackfalls take advantage of maybe the extra day of rest. They win this game 5-1.